Hi friends, in this video let us understand why DNA is more stable than RNA, the four reasons behind DNA stability over RNA within 3 to 5 minutes. Reason number 1, DNA is double stranded which provides more stability compared to the single stranded structure of RNA. So this is DNA which is double stranded and this is RNA which is single stranded. How this double stranded nature of DNA contributes to its stability? The first reason is the hydrogen bond between the bases. So this is the DNA strand, double helical structure. As you see, this nitrogenous bases are joined by hydrogen bonds. These hydrogen bonds provide stability. Second is base stacking interaction. Base stacking refers to the arrangement of bases or the way in which the bases are placed one above the other in a DNA double helical structure. This is primarily due to hydrophobic interactions and Van der Waals forces. This provides extra stability to DNA. The third thing is the complementarity of base pairing. As we know, guanine always pairs with cytosine and thiamine always pairs with adenine. In other terms, purines always pairs with pyrimidines, where purines are two-ringed, pyrimidines are single-ringed. Both are perfectly fit or orientation is perfectly matching providing more stability. And finally, charge neutralization. Charge neutralization means DNA is negatively charged because of the presence of phosphate group, but it is wrapped around histone proteins which is positively charged. So this neutralization of negative and positive charges of histone and DNA that lead to more interaction of hydrogen bonding within the DNA structure providing more stability. Reason number two, in DNA, the sugar is deoxyribose. So this is a nucleotide of a DNA molecule, which is made up of a phosphate, a sugar and a nitrogen space. And this is the ribonucleotide or a nucleotide of an RNA. As you see, let us focus on the sugar. In sugar, DNA, the sugar is deoxyribose. That means in the second carbon position, there is only H or hydroxyl group is absent. Whereas in RNA, as you see, the second carbon position has hydroxyl group, making it more susceptible to hydrolysis. So a lack of this OH group or hydroxyl group in DNA makes DNA more stable or less susceptible to hydrolysis. Reason number three, in DNA, DNA has thiamine while RNA has uracil as nitrogenous space. Thiamine is more stable compared to uracil. So these are the nitrogenous bases in DNA, adenine, cytosine, guanine and thiamine. In RNA, this thiamine is replaced by uracil. Uracil is less stable compared to thiamine. That makes DNA more stable as thiamine is in the place of uracil in DNA. And the fourth reason that is enzymatic repair or location of this DNA. DNA is present primarily in the nucleus where enzymes are available to repair any damage. Whereas RNA does not have a comparable repair mechanism. As you see in this picture, this is nucleus. DNA is primarily located inside the nucleus with a robust DNA repair mechanism. Whenever there is an error, there are many enzymes or a massive enzyme complexes are involved to repair a DNA molecule if there is a mistake or a mismatch during replication. Whereas RNA is primarily located in the cytoplasm, as you see, mRNA, rRNA, tRNA, all are located in the cytoplasm. There is no comparable repair mechanism in, in the case of RNA in, in cytoplasm, making it less stable. And finally, these factors makes DNA more stable for long-term storage of genetic information. But this relative instability of RNA is useful for its role in short-term tasks like functioning as mRNA, transferring the genetic information from DNA to protein during translation. Hope you are clear. Take care. Stay blessed. Thank you so much. You are with biologyexamsforay.com.